Back training. I think everybody knows that having a well-trained back is extremely important for a good-looking physique. Even though it's very interesting how attractive this muscle group can be, in this video I'm gonna talk about the benefits of it. After watching this video I can guarantee you, you will go with a different mindset into your back training. I'm gonna show you how beneficial a strong back can be and how this can carry over to other lifts, for example your bench press and even for leg day. There are also benefits out of the gym for your everyday life where most people miss out on. So I'm right away gonna jump into the first benefit. In today's society, it became normal to have rounded shoulders. We see it in the office, at school, even people in the media have rounded shoulders. And walking around the whole day with your phone in the hand leads to even a worse posture. A bad posture has multiple bad effects on your body. And how do you improve your bad posture? Of course, back training. The great thing about back training is that you train the exact muscles that you need to have a good posture. Sitting with rounded shoulders the whole day leads to tightened muscles around your chest and shoulders. And with back training, you can train the muscles which help you to keep your shoulders back. I understand you, training your chest and shoulders is fun and it looks great, but you also need to train your posterior chain to balance it out. Of course, you could also stretch your shoulders and chest out, but there is nothing that beats a good back workout. And this is only one of the benefits of having a strong back. The strength on your back also carry over to other lifts. For example, for the bench press. Yeah, you heard right, the bench press. Of course, if you're pressing the weight up, you only need your chest and shoulders. But on the negative of the exercise, there's also a lot of back engagement. Firstly, you need to pull your shoulders back to prevent an injury and also pull them together to keep constant tension on them. Doing this when you're bench pressing a lot of weight is actually pretty difficult. And how can you build up to this? By training your back. Not only for bench pressing it's important, also for any variation of a deadlift. Taking the Romanian deadlift as an example. Even though it's a leg exercise and it mostly trains your hamstrings, there's also a lot of back engagement in there. For this movement you need a strong back, otherwise you will injure yourself really bad. There are loads of people out there doing heavy deadlifts, but their form looks terrible and the reason for that is that their back isn't strong enough. Especially at the lowest point of the movement there is loads of tension on your posterior chain and if you can't hold it you are set up to injure yourself. To optimally prepare yourself for these lifts you need to do a variation of vertical and horizontal pulling movements. And even more important for your back training is to go really hard on the exercises that you're doing, just like for the bench press. And whilst you're doing the exercises, try to practice the exact thing you should do throughout the whole day. Pull your shoulders back and chest out. This is also the only way how you engage your back when you're doing that pull downs or rows. If you're interested about more information on how to train your back, I've made a separate video explaining you exactly how you should set up your back training. So this is just a message to people who skip their back training or don't take it as serious as they should. I hope this highlights the importance of it and you start giving it more attention. Until then, do the hard work, take care and see you in the next one.